Now for our final report from the country's three children's hospitals as they await news of the new facility which is due to be built in a number of years in St James's. Our reporter Ashling Reardon went to Temple Street Children's University Hospital. It's the oldest children's hospital in the country, celebrating its 140th anniversary. But this doesn't stop over 130,000 children attending each year. The emergency department sees many of these children, and I'm going to head inside and meet the team. Well, we last year, actually in 2012, saw 52,500 children through the department. Uh, so a big number came through here. So we would see children from birth, practically two days old, up to the eve of their 16th birthday. So a wide variety of conditions and needs. You can imagine from the infant's needs to the 15-year-old's needs. So all emergencies we deal with, you know, and illnesses. So um, we have a large team consisting of medical staff, nursing, um, the reception staff, portering, household, and we all work together in a team. And really when you're caring with, for children and, and their families, you know, it's a very important that you work as a team. And as clinical nurse manager, Anne-Marie can see both sides to working in Temple Street. Well, I suppose to start with the pros, it, it's an old hospital, as you know, we're 140 years old and we just celebrated the birthday there during the summer. But um, with that, it's, it's a very um, homely hospital, I have to say, when I started working here, that's the first thing that hit me, that it's so friendly and you know everybody in the hospital, you know, and, and everybody's aim is to give the best care and have the best experience for a child coming in and through the hospital. The cons then, I suppose, well, it is an old building and we're really at our capacity here that we can't expand. We're very short of space, you know, when you think of the numbers that come through the department and we have 16 trolleys to see the patients on, you know, so I suppose for us working here, we love our work, you know what I mean? And um, the patients are just brilliant and the families have been so, supportive and understanding that we're working in an old building and within confinement. Staffing is a problem, but the hospital has come up with ways to deal with the increasing number of patients. Uh, um, we have a, a, a restriction on the number of staff that we, you know, that we actually need to see these patients. Um, it's hard to get new staff, you know, um, as you know, with all the um, embargo currently ongoing in the HSC. Um, and we just have to deal with the numbers we have. We have tried some initiatives to try and see how we can overcome this problem. Uh, we've tried to do something called streaming, uh, where we have, uh, through fundraising, we've been able to build a rapid access and treatment room where we can stream certain patients and see them quickly and get them out of the, um, get them out of the, um, um, the ED. We've also tried to cooperate better with the GPs in North Dublin so that they, they are more aware of what we do and we kind of um, try and get them to see more patients and reduce the number of referrals. And eventually what we aim to do is to have the GPs here on site with us, seeing patients side by side with us. So how does Temple Street differ from the other two children's hospitals? Uh, Temple Street has, um, has many unique services. Uh, I mean, we, we have the, uh, you know, the renal transplant and, uh, the, uh, and the hemodialysis service. We have the metabolic service and, of course, I mentioned the neurosurgical service. Those are the three services that are unique to Temple Street Hospital, but we have every other thing. We have the ear, nose, throat. We have the um, ophthalmology. We have general surgery. We have orthopedic surgery. We have um, a lot of medical specialties as well. Mm, so we do see um, a very wide array of cases. One mother has only positive words for the staff in the emergency department. So my name is Sylvie and my son's name is Martin and we arrived to this hospital last afternoon at around 6pm by the emergency service because uh, he had a very high temperature and it seems that he got uh, some kind of 
strong virus. We were really afraid, so we called the emergency service. They came right away and brought us here. And we were immediately treated in a very professional and a very nice, very, uh, nice uh, level. We explained all the conditions here that the hospital is full. I've seen it with my own eyes that, that it was really busy during the night, really, really busy, even busier than now. And so it's normal, so I can understand the, the situation. So I'm, I'm, oh, I'm very satisfied with the service, even though it was tough to sit here in a chair for the whole night, worrying about, about myself. And while the staff continues to work around the clock, what are their thoughts on the move to St James's? What the new children's hospital will offer then is that it will offer us more space, uh, we'll be able to create more cubicles, um, we'll be able to see more patients within the department. And because we're merging the three existing children's hospitals, we are going to have more consultants you know, covering around the clock, so that will make the workload um, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, less for us. We're waiting for us, you know. Sadly, we thought we'd be in it at this stage, but look, we, we welcome it whenever it comes and, and we need it.